Here we go. Ura! I'll show you. Going down at roughly the same time. Ura down first, though. No. Two minute stare down here. Ura getting low. Hoshoryu attacking the shoulders. And Ura drags him across the ring. Pulls him down, and the crowd loves it. Hoshoryu. You hear the applause. He couldn't keep his feet under him, and the crowd loves it. It's not the Tsutai Zori, but it is an exciting Ura win. And who would have thought Hoshoryu would be the one to drop a match day one? Right? Nishikigi down first in deference to the Ozeki who dives straight into the chest of Nishikigi and Nishikigi controls at the outside left but Hoshoryu overpowering him and pushing on through and that was the game plan go straight into the chest and don't let go One right off the Tachi Eye, and although Nishikigi did kind of have a chance there, Oshoryu is smart enough to walk it forward. Both men going up against the top of the top, the best of the best. Except that Tommy Fuji gets a pass against Tedano Fuji. He can't fight him. But here we go. Hoshoryu, a nice solid charge. Tommy Fuji, good counter push, has the advantage, but Hoshoryu regains his footing back across the ring. Has a Tommy Fuji at the edge, and out Yorikiri. Hoshoryu on that push, managed to dig those shoulders just a little bit lower, was able to prop up a Tommy Fuji and push right on through. A Tommy Fuji, you know, larger frame, a little more, uh, open to being stood up and because he is on that taller side once he's stood up it's easy to get underneath his own frame lower those shoulders lower the hips oh ho ho shoryu he's squinting because he can't see Oh ho, good attack up high to the face, both hands up there, Hoshoryu tries to pull the hand, Hoshoryu on the retreat, tries to get a good grip, and that's an inside left for Oh ho, inside left for Hoshoryu, as they settle into the grip, it's hard to tell who this is better for, but that was a good offense from Ho Oh ho. Risky recovery from Hoshoryu, Oh ho on the move, Hoshoryu with the throw! And I think Oho went down first. Hoshoryu did not touch outside of the ring and escapes with his life against Oho. Oho didn't get the win, but that was some good sumo. I'm from New Jersey. Sanoyama takes the charge. Hoshoryu gets stood up. Asanoyama in control. Pushing forward. Hoshoryu the throw! And that's why Asanoyama can't beat him. The throw at the edge for Hoshoryu. His judo expertise coming in clutch at the very edge. 4 and 1 for the Ozeki. 5 and 0 oh against Asanoyama. Tobizaru Hoshoryu, two technicians about to go head to head for the 21st time. Hoshoryu jumps forward, Tobizaru lower, wraps the right arm around. Hoshoryu trying to get a grip, but double inside for Tobizaru. Tobizaru trying to push forward, Hoshoryu, Morizashi grip, but Tobizaru slips away, now outside left. Hoshoryu, the grip is broken, Tobizaru double inside, at the edge, can he get the push? Yes he can! Tobizaru with the win over Hoshoryu, 3-3 three and three on the tournaments. Oh, Shoryu put everything he could into it, but look at that mean mug. He is upset. He does not like that one bit. He was too smart for that. And try to attack the throat. Let's see. Abi down first in deference. He does attack the throat. Oh, Shoryu pushes straight through. Completely overpowers Abi. No contest. 
collapses under the pressure from the Ozeki, and now there is only two people in the Yusho race. The undefeated Takeru Fuji and the 6-1 Ono Sato. A massive group of sumo wrestlers on their heels at 5-2. and two. But realistically, only one of these big cheeses is going to stand alone. All these Ozeki eventually do have to fight each other. Will any of them be able to survive the gauntlet and challenge for the... Getting down and ready, Takanosho. Down first. Oh, Shoryu. Big charge for Takanosho. Ho Shoryu losing ground. Can't finish him off though. Ho Shoryu turns him for a throw. Can't finish him just yet. Stalemated now. Takanosho trying to get the inside right. Ho Shoryu going for a throw. Takanosho losing ground. Ho Shoryu with the push. And a big missed opportunity for Takanosho. Oh, Zeki Ho Shoryu. Six and two. Midori Fuji down and ready. Oh, Shoryu. Takes the charge chest to chest. Whoa! Katas Kashi right off the rip. Midori Fuji. What the hell? <laughs> Holy crap! That was the fastest win I've ever seen! Does his opponent go down first? Makamoto Haru understands the stare down. Oh, Shoryu! Oh, a Henka! I mean, that was lightning fast. That looked really good, but... Come on, bro. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> uh, I mean, that was crazy fast, don't get me wrong. That was actually the best Henka I've ever seen. But oh, come in the Musubino Ichiban, you gotta be kidding me, dude. Gaesho down first, Hoshoryu. Taking his sweet time. Hoshoryu takes the head charge, Tachiai. Loses ground, but now he's fighting back. Grabs the arm, makes sure Daesho can't push forward. Now. Hoshoryu trying everything he can, grabs the leg, grabs the head, charges forward, nearly touched the ground right there. Daesho surviving, pushing across the ring, but he stumbles and falls. Kachikoshi for the Ozeki, but honestly, he almost lost a good handful of times there. That was dangerous sumo. I was just saying earlier tonight, like, usually you don't see wild back and forth matches because... You know, at the top of the Banzuke, they are refined in their styles and they know what they're doing, but that was... ...年は生まれることになるんでしょうか? <laughs> They go down at the same time. That respect. Takeru Fuji. Head to head, Takeru Fuji! Thrown off the ring! Oh, flip to the side. I thought he was gonna plow straight through, but Hoshoryu pulls back and throws him out. Takeru Fuji will finally fall! Oh, Shoryu. Nine and three. And now, not only he, but other sumo wrestlers have a chance at the Yu Show. Eleven and one for Takeru Fuji. Even if it is just a snowball's chance in hell. Onoyama down. Oshoryu takes the charge, goes for the throw right off the rip, and there it is. Oshoryu stays one or two wins behind Takeru Fuji. 
It is a three horse race, but Takeru Fuji has a two length lead. Oh, Shoryu Ono Sato, two wins behind. Kotonowaka down and ready. Hoshoryu tries to get to the side, but Kotonowaka caught him. Hoshoryu collapses! Kotonowaka wins! It's a two horse race, and Hoshoryu is out! He tried to get to the side, he tried a henka, but Kotonowaka caught him and tackled him to the ground after a spin in the middle of the ring. If Ono Sato loses tomorrow, it's Takeru Fuji. If Takeru Fuji wins tomorrow, it's Takeru Fuji. But either way, it's gonna be a rookie. Either way, it's gonna be one of the new Rewa no Kaibutsu to win the Yusho. No Ozeki competing. Hoshoryu takes his fourth straight loss against Koto Nawaka, soon to be Koto Zakura. I don't know the last time I saw a 14 and 1 or 15 or no though. Ono Sato, big charge for Hoshoryu who tries to get a grip on the belt. Ono Sato keeps him away, but the big kick up and the throw down. Hoshoryu gets the win. And even if Takeru Fuji lost earlier, well, Ono Sato ate dirt right there. Looks like Hoshoryu went for the Kake Nage, but missed the leg hook, but still got the leg kick. And even if he missed the leg kick, well, all that momentum in the turn, that's a lot of torque. His entire lower body going with it. A hell of a throw from Hol Shoryu to finish 11-4. And, and with that, Ono Sato, Hol Shoryu, and Takeyasu are the runners-up. We still have one more shot at Kotonowaka to join that group, too.